As you listen to electronic pipes, you'll find it hard to believe the music is being produced by purely electronic means. The characteristic tones of the king of instruments are so realistic as to be almost breathtaking, yet are all produced by the amazing artisan electronic organ. The brass trumpet has a bite and shrillness never before found in an electronic instrument. The kinura practically duplicates that exciting stop used so much in theater organs of the past. All other stops from the ethereal vox humana to the power and fullness of the diapasons are rich and clear. And all are in the tradition of the majestic king of instruments, the pipe organ. Leroy Anderson's serenata is not as widely known as many of his compositions, such as Sleigh Ride, Blue Tango, and others that have become standards in contemporary music literature. But Eddie Baxter's unique styling brings an exciting new dimension to this beautiful music. Baxter calls on the tremendous resources of the artisan to take us through an exciting day in old Spain. You'll find it hard to believe that the sharp, bitey brass trumpets in the opening impromptu Paso Doble are not real theater organ pipes. The tambourine is a part of the bandbox, an accessory to the artisan. As the Paso Doble gives way to the serenade proper, Baxter introduces the concert flute, viola, dulciana, tuba, and oboe. The Paso Doble returns in full-stop treatment with the brass trumpet and the cornopian dominating, and finally ending in a wildly discordant coda that will thrill you with its overpowering volume of sound. In home, Eddie Baxter introduces tones not found in the pipe organ. Many are similar to the tones of other electronic organs, while some are found only in the artisan. Also heard in this number is the remotely operated marimba. This is a real marimba, which is actually played from the keyboard of the artisan. It is one of the many accessories available to fit any organ, and it can be obtained with its own keyboard.
Listen now as Eddie Baxter plays Stardust. Here, the unique Baxter stylizing is enhanced by the magnificent pipe-like tones of the artisan. The concert flute and tibia major take the solo opening, accompanied by viola de orchestra and dulciana. In the chorus, the gamba is added as the eight-foot and two-foot solo stops are brought down to the accompaniment manual. The Kruger string bass is given the 16-foot cello with trombone and bassoon added. Girl of My Dreams was the sentimental favorite of millions during the heyday of the theater organ. Although Eddie Baxter gives it a touch of his unique styling, it still retains the aura of nostalgia. The solo manual features the Kinura, Dulce, Viola, Concert Flute, and Tibia Major. In the coda, Baxter brings in the brilliance of the brass trumpet and reinforces the Kinura. In the pedal, we hear the sonorous 16-foot bass flute with the addition of cello, dulciana, trombone, and bassoon.
Stormy weather is a favorite effect number of many supper club organists. The storm and wind, however, were never more realistic than in this Baxter rendition. The immense tonal resources of the artisan practically place you in the teeth of a tropical hurricane. As the storm subsides, Baxter uses concert flute, tibia, and a mixture of strings for the bridge, then returns to full organ for a stormy finale. A 16-foot dulciana is used on the pedal. <laughs> 